Hey dolls! So I know I skipped out on an April favorites, but I'm sitting down and I'm filming a May, well April slash May favorites. I'm kind of accumulating everything that I've been loving for the past two months and I'm doing just kind of like a kajumbled <laughs> favorites video. So if you want to see what my favorites were for the last couple of months, uh, stay tuned. There's some phone cases, some makeup, some accessories. Yeah, so let's get into this. Okay, obviously the first and foremost of my favorites for specifically the month of May are my two new tattoos. I will link the video right here on the screen. I did vlog getting both of my new tattoos, but I got a Lady and the Tramp piece on my thigh to match my Marie piece that I got on my opposite thigh. And then I also got my quote, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Finally, 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 I got my quote tattooed and it is on my ribs. I'm not going to get too much, go into too much detail in this video because I did a full video all about that. I just wanted to let you guys know that they are healing really, really, really well. The color is taking amazingly and I'm just so, 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 so happy with them. So again, those were done by Sanai underscore Kauai on Instagram. So if you want to check out her work or if you are in California and you are looking for a Kauai tattoo artist, definitely check her out and look her up and think about getting tattooed by her because her work is beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go on down the line. I'm going to go with clothes and then accessories and then beauty and I think that'll wrap it up. This adorable, I don't know if you can really see it, I have it tied in the front right here. But um, you can have it tied or just loose and flowing. I got this kimono at Sears. Now, I know Sears in a lot of locations are closing. But I think the Sears that is in my city is one of the biggest ones in the nation. So they don't have any plans of closing down anytime soon as far as I know or that I'm aware of so I don't think I have to worry about my Sears closing down but uh anyway I found this there and it was too cute to not buy it was on sale for nine dollars originally ten dollars so it was only ten percent off but nine dollars still ain't bad for a super flowy cute kimono that I can wear in the summertime and just make my outfits look cute as well as wear it as a swimsuit cover up. So now talking about swimsuits oh my gosh you guys I'm in love with Krissa Sparkle's clothing line uh, she had sent me her sprinkles on top dress so I do have that dress but I really 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 wanted to get something that had the design she did with Creamy Pop. I love Creamy Pop's artwork so 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 much. It is so pastel and just gives me total 80s fairy k vibes and I am obsessed with it and when she released that she was doing a swimwear this summer I freaked out because I saw this beautiful one piece and I had to have it. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this. If you want to get this, go to chrisasparkles.com. I'll leave it right here on the screen. But this print is so beautiful. She does also have this print in um, leggings. So if you want to get leggings instead of a uh, swimsuit bodysuit, you definitely can. But it is so cute. I love how, like crystal clear the print is like it's very detailed it's very sharp it's not blurry or fuzzy or anything this is a really really good quality it is somewhat thin material but it does have quite a bit of stretch to it and the front is lined very very nicely however my hate relationship with this piece is that I have a larger chest and for me I prefer to have a little bit of support when I wear undergarments and swimsuits and things like that. And this, this does nothing for my girls, if you catch my drift. This has no support. There is no little, not really underwire, but like kind of elastic under the bust, if that makes any sense. There is absolutely no support. So basically, my girls just hang a little free and 
get kind of flat and lost in the swimsuit and to be honest my butt kind of eats this <laughs> so my butt hangs out a little bit on the bottom so it doesn't do anything for my girls it exposes too much of my butt but it is so cute and honestly I think it's worth rocking anyway because the print is just so me and so perfect and I can always wear a different swim bottom on the bottom to kind of cover up my tush and still have the cute little um, colorful pattern right here but I also wanted to get this and wear it as a bodysuit paired with maybe a high-waisted skirt or some high-waisted jeans or shorts or whatever I wanted to pair with it and I had hoped that I could wear a bra underneath of it but because the back is so low the back of the bra is 100% exposed so the only way that would really work is if I were to wear like a sweater or a cardigan or a kimono or something over this also to kind of hide the bra that would be hanging out the back so I've talked about this too much but I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love it. It's worth it because it's such beautiful art and it's so, this is the most beautiful shade of purple that I've ever seen in my entire life. It is so perfect and the print is just so, so gorgeous. In reality though, I probably would have worn the leggings more than I would this because the leggings you can kind of wear year round, whereas with a swimsuit or a bodysuit, you kind of just wear it in the warmer months. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like make this my number one worn swimsuit this summer but I had to share it with you guys because just the artwork itself is one of my favorites I absolutely love this so much okay moving on to accessories I got this you guys have probably seen this on my Instagram a little bit I got this lady from lady in the tramp bag I had actually ordered this through someone who lives in Japan and they had it sent to me um, but it is from Disney Store Japan I think you can get it on eBay and the last time I checked on eBay it was around $70 People in Japan like to buy things at normal price in the stores and then jack up the price for people in the U.S. because they're often sought after and a lot of people will pay the extra price to get items. So I honestly was about to buy this on eBay but I contacted my friend and was like, hey, would you be willing to hook me up so I don't have to pay this outrageous price? And then I was able to get this and four or five other items on top of this for about $100. So I'm not going to disclose who it was that I went through, but if you would like to have stuff special ordered from Japan, um, I will go ahead and put the there are two usernames right here. I have ordered from US Shopping SOS. I have ordered through them on Instagram and then there's also this one right here I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that one but they also do pickups and ship to the US as well I'm not sure if they I know US Shopping SOS does um, shipping worldwide but I'm not sure about the other one I'll have to recheck but I do have friends who have ordered from it, both of them and everyone's had a pleasant experience with both of them so yes this is from Japan and I am obsessed with it. The inside has a cute little donut print and then this little donut keychain came with it and it is so, so, so precious. There is a Bambi tote bag that they re released recently and I kind of want to get my hands on that one too and it's on eBay for $58 I think right now and I'm like refraining from buying it because I just got this one so I kind of want to like wear this one a little bit before I cave and get the other one but regardless it's beautiful all the Disney stuff is so much cuter in Japan I don't know why that is everything is actually cuter in Japan <laughs> as far as like merch goes moving on I'm gonna talk about a few phone cases uh, I haven't done an updated iPhone case collection for my iPhone 8 plus but I will link the video right here if you want to see what cases I had prior to this so first before I get into the phone cases I just want to mention you'll notice on a lot of my cases I have these pink pop sockets what I did is I bought like 
cheapy pop sockets off of AliExpress and if you just type in like pink pop-up phone stand or pink pop-up grip iPhone or phone grip pop up something like that they'll pop up and um they make pink ones however because they aren't the true pop socket brand they do not hold their adhesive adhesion they do not stick well so what i like to do you can actually take off the faces of pop sockets you can kind of see if my camera will focus right here these little notches right here you can actually like stick some tweezers in here and pry this open right here it's actually a lot easier than i'm making it look but you can um, pop these off and you can change out the little faces on the pop sockets. So what I do is I use a regular name brand pop socket base and then I will just put the pink little plate on there. So I have several brand name pop sockets but I've purchased some of the cheap like two or three dollar little pink ones and they're like the perfect shade of pink and then I've just popped them on the name brand pop socket. So I have four cases that I want to show you guys. The first is this adorable um, Otterbox. Um, Disney did a collab with Otterbox and they released a Disneyland one and a Disney World one. And when I saw the Disneyland one, I had to have it. It is so cute. I'm going to turn on my flashlight here to see if you can see. There you go. You can see it. The sparkle and the glitter on this case is so, so beautiful. I actually found this on Poshmark. Um... It retails for $59.99 and I found it on Poshmark used, gently used. There's not any like scratches or wear and tear on it at all. It came in perfect condition. The box was a little bit ripped, but that's about it. But I found it on Poshmark for like $35 which is an amazing steal, so I had to get my hands on this. Again, this is for the iPhone 8 Plus. They also make it for the iPhone 6, 7, 8, iPhone X. I don't think they make them for Android just yet, but they also have a Disney World one as well, and they just released a whole new line of princess, Disney princess, otter box cases for the iPhone. Again, I'm not sure if they're for Android also just yet. Hopefully that will come soon, but if you're an iPhone user and you love Disney, check out Otterbox because they've got some really cute ones coming out. Next up are these two that I got off of AliExpress. These were each literally like $2 if that. In order to find these you can type in for this one Sanrio iPhone case or something like that and hopefully it'll pop up. You can also search like Hello Kitty, My Melody, just some of the characters that are in here. And for this one I just typed in Lady and the Tramp iPhone case and I found it. So this one right here is so adorable. It's got all the little Sanrio characters in there. You can see Cinema Roll, Pom Pom Pirin, Little Twin Stars, My Melody, Karomi, and they're all just so cute in there and it is set up as if it is a little crane game and this is so cute and with this I don't know if you can really tell but the lines like the solid lines right here they are like beveled so it feels really nice in your hand you can kind of like feel all the lines I'm not sure if that makes any sense and I don't think you'll be able to tell or be able to see it but it feels really nice and it is really cute again this was under three dollars so check that one out definitely I am loving this so much and then this one right here like I said I do have a pop socket on it but this is Lady and the Tramp and this is just a really cheap little TPU kind of silicone plastic, cheap plastic. Um, this was literally like $1.98 or something like that, I think, off of AliExpress. And you can find it just by typing in Lady in the Tramp iPhone case. Not sure if they make it for other devices, but you can definitely check and see. It is very cute. My little pop socket is kind of covering the spaghetti that they have right there, but I think the pop socket on here is really cute because the pink matches the pink background. And I love pop sockets with my big phone. It helps me hold them a lot better. Last case, this one I got tons and tons and tons of questions on. I had posted about it on my uh, Snapchat story, I think it was. I just have a regular pop socket on here that has like a lilac base. And then I put one of those pink plates on it, as you can see. But this case is actually like tinted pink 
but it has like a silver glitter layer underneath of it so it's transparent pink but it has silver glitter underneath so the pink comes off or the the glitter comes off kind of pink tinted but it's really like shiny and so beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and pop this off my phone real quick so i can kind of show you guys there is a separate layer does that make sense here we go and now i can show you there's a separate layer right here and this little glitter piece is actually like paper so you could probably disassemble this thing and put like your own little scrapbook paper in here whatever colors you want but i actually absolutely love the glitter i got a little bit i cannot speak i got this case off of ebay and you can find it by searching um pink glitter iphone case pink sparkly iphone case something like that you're bound to find similar ones on there but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how beautiful this thing shines and shimmers I absolutely love the sparkle on this. It is not really doing it justice in this lighting. If you take it out in daylight, it is absolutely gorgeous. So that is like my one of my favorite cases that I've been using lately. I just got it this week, so obsessed with that. So these four cases I have been using a lot over the past two months and I absolutely love them. Okay, now we're gonna get on to, into, on to, um, makeup slash beauty stuff so i'm going to talk about my hair dye first uh you guys have noticed that my hair is quite a bit darker or it's gradually been getting darker toned that is just simply because the darker color is easier to maintain having a more pastel color it's kind of a butt <laughs> to maintain and it fades out quicker and things like that so i've been not diluting my dye as much as I usually would. Uh, but I recently wanted to try out the kind of new shade. I say new very loosely because it's been out for quite a while, but I decided to give it a go. Usually I use the Virgin Pink by Arctic Fox. You can get this at Hot Topic, Sally's, or online at Arctic Fox. I think it's just arcticfoxhaircolor.com. It's probably on here arcticfoxhaircolor.com yep the reason i like to purchase this online instead of in store is because it's actually cheaper on the website oftentimes you can get a coupon code and when you order online a percentage of the proceeds go to helping animals so i absolutely love buying it online but i wanted to try out this color as well and this is the electric paradise and this one is actually uv reactive so it glows under a black light whereas this one doesn't so what i did to get this color or somewhat of this color is i mixed the two together i did like two-thirds virgin pink and then one-third of the electric paradise and it's a little bit less purple tone I mean there's still hints of purple in it and it still looks somewhat purple um, I found that the virgin pink if you don't dilute it at all it just comes out really purpley and if you want more of a lighter I say lighter pink more of a um, not not so much a cool tone pink but more of a warm tone pink which is something I was originally going for I mix some of this in there sometimes you could even do half and half or like two-thirds and one-third or whatever and just find your own little happy medium uh but i've tried it and i like it i haven't tested it under a uv glow light or black light or anything like that just yet but i like the outcome that i got with it it was a little bit more warm pink than a cool tone pink or too purpley so i'm liking it so far i might use this because when I mix these together I didn't dilute it at all I just used the dye and it came out pretty nice because uh, beforehand I was just using virgin pink and diluting it with just a basic white conditioner and I liked the outcome but it was kind of a butt to maintain and this is just a little bit easier and I feel like I get more full coverage just using full dye rather than kind of like diluting it and things like that but I wish that they would make a color in between these two like the color of my walls but like a little bit darker but just like the same tone of pink that would be awesome Arctic Fox please do that and 
I'm also saying this right now. Arctic Fox, if you watch this video, tweet them, tell them I said this specifically. Arctic Fox, please, please, please invent colored dry shampoo to match your shades. Please, please, please. I can no longer really use dry shampoo because with just the regular white ones, it leaves like a weird white residue in my hair. There are some that like are a little bit more transparent, but you can only use minimal of the product or again, you get that weird flakiness left behind. And they do make toned ones for like brunettes and blondes and different colored hair, but they haven't made any for colored hair yet. So Arctic Fox, Hear me out. I love your dye. It is amazing. It smells like grapes. It is beautiful. I love that you give back to animals. But please, please make a dry shampoo in corresponding colors. Please, I beg of you, please, please do it. Please, please, please. Okay, anyway, enough about hair care or hair dye. Let's go ahead and move on to makeup. So before I get into the actual makeup, lashes. I was getting a ton of comments and compliments and questions about what eyelashes I was wearing in my tattoo vlog video. I have been obsessed with these new lashes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't have these exact ones on right now, but I have ones from the same collection on right now. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection. These ones are the ones that I was wearing in the video, and they are in the style camisole. These ones are huge. They are crazy dramatic. They reach to the skies, and they are so beautiful. I am obsessed with them. I love them. The ones that I have on my eyes right now are the same collection. They're the Triple Push Up Collection by Kiss, but they are in the style Teddy. T-E-D-D-Y, and they look really, really nice. These ones are a little bit less full, a little bit less dramatic, but still very beautiful and just luscious, and I love them. So I get these at Walgreens, and I think they also sell them at Target and Walmart is where I've seen them both. So basically, wherever you get Kiss Lashes, keep an eye out because these are beautiful. You can also get them at Ulta, and I just, ugh. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, next up, I just got this in the mail the other day and I'm so, so, so excited about this. I have purchased a cosmetic glitter before from Shop Wear Beauty. Um, I think it's shopwearbeauty.com and Wear Beauty is spelled just like so. So it's just Shop Wear Beauty on Instagram if you're having trouble finding them. But this is glitter spray. And you guys have seen like glitter body sprays, body mists. Uh, Bath and Body Works has done it. Victoria's Secret has done it. Dollar Tree has done it. Where they do like these body mists or these perfumes that have glitter in them. And when you spray them, your body is caressed with glitter and you shine for days. But this... This little beauty right here, this was about nine or $10, I believe. And it is just straight ultra fine glitter. There is no weird liquids in here. There's no sticky serum. There's nothing. It's literally just glitter. And when you squirt it, nothing but just glitter pops out. So I'll see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but when I push it, do you see that? Just glitter came out and it is so beautiful. I'm going to try and grab my phone light again to show you. I always do like some Instagram. Oh, there you can kind of see it. I do Instagram little stories showing the glitter. Like in my hair, I sprinkled some earlier. You can still kind of see it in there. And then I do it on my body. This is beautiful because it's not sticky. You don't even feel it on you, but yet you are sparkly to the moon and back. But something that I absolutely love about this is in the summertime, if you are someone who likes the glitter on your body, what you can do is lather sunscreen on first and do parts of your body at a time. So like do your legs and then you can spray some of the glitter spray and kind of like pack it on a little bit with the sunscreen. 
and then like move to the next parts of your body do your arms do your chest do your tummy whatever it's awesome if you're going to like fairs or festivals or you just want to be cute laying in the sun and just be a super sparkly glitter goddess <laughs> just in the summer um it is absolutely beautiful they said that they are going to be releasing new colors and different types of this so i'm very excited about that i did buy two of these because you can actually take off the lid right here and you can once this is empty you can just refill it with practically any other super fine cosmetic glitter and just keep refilling it and that's what i absolutely love about this it's not ruined by any weird liquids or sticky serums or anything so absolutely i'm loving this again that is shopwearbeauty.com okay i am talking forever here but the last thing i want to talk about is beauty bakery not spots nothing in this video is spots <laughs> surprise like all of my favorites videos are usually sponsored but this one is not <laughs> anyway so beauty bakery recently released the cake mix foundation i wanted to put this in my favorites because it has the cutest packaging I've ever seen for a beauty product in my entire life. So the reason it is like the cutest packaging ever, look at this. The packaging is so precious. It's like a little cake box and on the back it tells you like as if you were to bake a cake like what ingredients you need for to mix in like the box cake mix to get the beautiful little cake you know your your water your oil your eggs all that stuff except on here it has like your little brushes and your primer and your setting powder and the steps to get a, a flawless face this is the cutest packaging i have ever seen in a makeup product in my existence i absolutely love this and then you pull this little ribbon right here and it is right there and it is just so so cute so when i ordered this um they did actually send me a second foundation which i love i don't know if they're still doing this or not you guys know that if you purchase foundation online sometimes it's super hard to match your shade when you can't swatch it in person so it was really awesome that I ordered one shade and then they actually sent me a second one that was like the next closest shade to that one so I could test out both of them or mix them together or whatever and find my perfect shade for their foundation which is really cool. They also have like a shade matcher and stuff on their website which is awesome. But anyway as far as the actual formula goes I like it. I think it works really nicely. It's full coverage. I'm wearing it today. However, my only complaint about it is that it dries quickly. And I found this with their um, concealer as well. It dries really quick. So you have to work quickly when you're applying it. So I would advise when you're using it only applying like a little section at a time. If you're pouncing on with a damp beauty blender, that's what I do. I haven't applied it with a brush just yet, but as far as a damp beauty blender, it does still dry fairly quick. So I like to do like a cheek and then a cheek and then the middle and then my forehead forehead and then just like kind of blend it all together but it gets really sticky once it starts to dry down and you'll see that some of the product is starting to pull up and look kind of cakey or splotchy in places I'm not a huge fan of that but if you work in little sections you probably shouldn't have that much of an issue with it um, I do love the shades that I received just to give you guys an idea the shades that I got are number 57 is one of the shades and the other shade is 59 so 59 and 57 57 is on the left 59 is on the right you can see they are dang near right on super close to each other but um, I found, I originally ordered 59 and they sent me 57 and I actually found that 57 matches me better than 59 does. So that was really cool that they sent that other one. With that, I also got the flower setting powder. I love this stuff. It's just a translucent uh, loose powder that you can set your foundation with under your eyes or your concealer. Just bake your face with it, pun intended, because it's beauty bakery. I also got the eye gel eyeliner, the eye gelato, and this is the black one. It's just a, basically just a 
gel eyeliner and I love it and then I'm also loving the brownies which are the eyebrow pomades and this is in the shade taupe I love these because like you can kind of like wipe it and it still stays there so these will be great in the summertime when you want to go swimming but still have some makeup on to have this is really really cool it's pretty much waterproof for the most part so I think that is everything I'm super long-winded and I feel like this video was so crazy crazy long but it was kind of long overdue because I didn't do an April faves anyway I'm gonna stop talking. I just wanna say, 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 I wanna say, I wanna say thank you guys. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, this little video. Let me know down in the, the comment section down below what your favorite item was that I talked about in this video or if you have any of them yourself and what your own opinions are about them or on them. And with that, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Bye.